Well, the trucks are filling up and we got good beans. They're good moisture, uh, but we cannot deliver any today because it's Sunday and the plant is closed. So we're getting the grain cart out. So we got our 9420RX hooked up to the uh, Brent Avalanche cart. It's a 2096, 2000 bushel cart. We always uh, plan to use this cart in soybean harvest. Uh, like I said, it's coming out a little early today, but both carts uh, have had their their U Harvest uh, U Harvest Pro software updated for this year. Uh, now you can send new fields or farm names or truck names um, to that software with your phone. Super simple and slick. But I'm going to start a new job on this, and we'll get the first grain carton of the year going. Oh my gosh guys, you're back! And we're back harvesting black beans. Look at this! They are perfect moisture. We got, uh, it's Sunday afternoon right now. We got rain on Friday, just light misty rain. Got the moisture into the hilltops and let allowed the low spots, the green spots to get more mature. And now from one end to the other, they're 15 to 16 percent, which is prime time. They got to be under 18 and above 13 ideally. The wetter they are, the higher percent moisture they are, the actually better they combine, they don't break, they don't split. So we are, uh, there's some in there but that's actually literally the best I've seen all season. So when uh, the sun shines we're giving her and uh, it's so far been going good. No breakdowns, no trouble but we can't unload uh, trucks so we are just filling trucks actually I think Eric's gonna bring the grain cart down we are gonna fill the grain cart we're not gonna use it um, just for those two loads basically we're not gonna use it all the time because you don't want to crack the beans but the beans are at the right moisture where we want to combine as many as a, we can today and not worry about the grain cart really so Going good. Excited. Also, if you can't notice by the little flag up there, it is windy. So that's also why we want to do it because the sun and this wind is going to, if we don't do as much as we can today, they're going to be 13% by tomorrow afternoon. Guarantee it. We've already lost a percent. Leave some room for me. He's going to be full. So if we don't combine and fill as much as we can, we're going to lose that percentage, uh, percentage uh, and that's actually a big deal because the higher the moisture, the more water you're selling, and if, they, if they're over dry, you're losing yield, which is losing money. Eric, I see you coming. Never been so happy to see a grain cart before. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, but he's coming in hot. <laughs> there he is! My green cart driver! Oh, this is nice. This is nice. We're doing everything we shouldn't be. I like it. It feels wrong, but it feels so right. It's coming right back to me. I didn't hit the head on the first load or unload, so now we should be good. Oh, and I forgot how slow this tractor is at getting going again. Come on, you 9RX. Got another combine to unload. Well, Brody just unloaded roughly 17,000 pounds. Randy is heading back to the farm to get the last truck. We will fill that and then we'll fill this cart. And that's all we'll be able to do today. Well, we're over on we're over on Chet's combine now. 
these 45 foot heads do not leave much room. I'm trying to get as far under him as I can because we have got a very strong northwest wind and I don't want it blowing beans off the side of the cart. So I am dumping into the center, which I don't normally have to do, uh, just so I don't get so close to the head, just try to alleviate any potential Are you issues. Are bring the big cart next? 25, you going to go home and get 2500? I suppose. Might even have to get the dump cart, you know, the thing we bought for this crop. You mean the one that won't reach our truck? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. This is Wendy! I had to, uh, I had to drop you guys. It's getting out of hand. Too much dust, couldn't see what I was doing. We're back. Are you gonna bring the big cart next? 25, you gonna go home and get the 2500? I suppose. <laughs> Might even have to get the dump cart, you know, the thing we bought for this crop. <laughs> the one that doesn't work? You mean the one that won't reach our trucks? Oh, just like that, the efficiency uh, yeah. has increased. But you probably won't make it. Don't challenge him. No, I will. I need a bigger tractor. Better <laughs> jump. <laughs> oh, man. So it's been a while since I've mentioned Agricultural Chemical Solutions, our main channel sponsor. Um, what reminded me to mention it is we did actually book in um, a fair amount of chemicals for next season. Uh, we bought quite a bit through him. So if you guys want to check out pricing, uh, get your chemicals there, that'd be great. Uh, just mention Larson Farms and you can get free shipping over $5,000 and $100 gift certificate to Larson Farms merch and I believe you get a discount if you're a new customer coming from Larson Farms. Go check them out. They're in the link in the description and uh, yeah we'll get back to harvesting black beans. I just can't get over actually how dusty these are. They are just so it's horrible. Thank God for a land roller. Sad part is once this is full no more green cart. Dust, this dust, poor tractor. Oh, look at that ugly disaster right there. That is, uh, was too wet this spring. I don't know how closely you guys watch, but that is the spot I was out here. It was full of water this spring, and it, it we had to plan around it. It was not fit at all, and never did get to be fit. But now we got a beautiful crop of water hemp growing there couldn't get here to chop it because obviously there's crops out in the field around it stranded in the middle of the field so we get to cut around this and we'll have to probably bring the stock shredder down here and mow this down before tillage so I'm not combining through that plugging my machine up that would be a, that'd be a big no-no well that's not good you gotta make it vomit we good now not much was in there. All right, my feet are also slipping for some reason, probably because they're very green here along this edge. And then also, I think I scooped up a couple of pocket gopher mounds to add in a little bit of dirt. Oh, we're back. Whew. Good. I didn't like that sound. That's one of them sounds that makes your heart just drop. They are growly. Ooh, these beans are not good here. Ooh, yuck. This is a wetter area, and this just goes to show how much they dislike wet areas. I need to adjust my air bar for these little guys. I can do that from the cab here. Going aft, tipping it back. Look at the little guys. I don't know if you can see, but I'm getting pretty much every one. They're blowing in really nice. That is the reason why we, uh, I'm pushing a rock. That is the reason why we have air systems because you literally um, get like almost every bean. We gotta get over this next hurdle. 
such as a rock. There we go. So we're really susceptible to scooping rocks in, especially on the headlands where the sprayer has been turning because we're running them heads tipped down so much. Just lucky I seen that one rolling in front of the cutter bar. That could have been a bad day. Well, I think that might be it. We're gonna have a cart full. All our trucks are full. So, I guess we're grounded for the uh, day. But we did get quite a bit done. I'm not sure we'll see when we totally wrap it up how many uh, acres we got done today. It's a 210 acre field roughly, so. I hope we, we don't want them sitting on this, on the combines overnight. So hopefully we can, we don't want to over combine the cart. Let's just say that. Well, there goes 102,000 pounds. You can get more on these. Black beans are really, really heavy. I think um, if you were, we go by pounds with these, um, but if you were to compare to bushels, like soybeans, I believe they're like 65 pounds a bushel, where soybeans are 60 pounds a bushel. We loaded her too close to this side. We need to get more on that side. All right, early Sunday afternoon, I like it. All right, we did 116 acres here, so we're over half done. That's good. Got roughly six hours of combining. Divide that by two, three hours left here. Used 160 gallons through this machine to harvest this so far. Got two different varieties out here. One so far is we didn't have very many of them, so I don't know if it's a fair comparison because it was just kind of a little area. Um, 2,900 pound average on that variety. And the, uh, the other one's doing 3,170. So obviously the one variety is doing better, but I, like I said, I don't know if that's a fair comparison because that other variety was on this hilltop here and it kind of dry. So there we go. Excited. Get, get these black beans done, hopefully right into soybeans. We uh, probably will be going directly into soybeans after this, so uh, that's also a good thing to get this out of the way. <laughs> because I don't want to clean combines out to come back to black beans. Brody, he had to get more for him. He said it wasn't full enough. He's going to do another pass. <laughs> Powering down. Powering down. Let's look over the sickle here. Oh, yep, there's one. Got one broken sickle section that needs to be fixed. Probably from cutting into rocks look it all over so I know what I need to fix in the morning. Yeah, I got a busted one. You somehow escaped it, but I that up in that corner, that little three-corner area, that was ugly. Oh, I got more than there's two. How did I miss that? My inspection. And a guard. And another guard. We're going to have to bring impact guns tomorrow. And Oh my goodness. Yeah, the sprayer ruts were just absolutely horrible up in that little three-corner yeah, piece. They're all terrible all over the place. <laughs> I know. Who's that sprayer guy again? Eric! Here's where Eric flushed the grain cart out. Man, they are so much bigger when they're 16% rather than 13. There's definitely some corn in here. Good thing he did a flush. Yeah, good thing he did. <laughs> These things are so cool, I love them. Fill your lunch pail up, bring it home to Cali. I should. <laughs> I had a bag. You're going to try and roll over that big pile? I can't see what you did up there. She's pump full. You ain't getting her on. She's pump full. Yeah, that's uh, 107,000 pounds there. 108. 108? <laughs> All right, guys. I think that's going to be the end of the day, end of the video. We'll see you next week, tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.